Guys, I haven't done an unboxing video in quite some time, but today is going to be an exception. So we're going to be taking a look at the Toner TC777. This is a USB condenser microphone, which could be great for podcasting or getting started in some sort of videography, which a lot of people are doing these days. Or hey, maybe you need a better microphone for your Zoom conference calls. I don't know. We're going to dive right into this microphone. <laughs> All right, so some YouTube channels, not all, but some like to check out products beforehand, before uh, they start the video, but uh, I have not. I know nothing about this product, so we're gonna take a look at it for the very first time. So I'll get the exact price on the screen, I guess, right there, but I think this retails for about $40. Um, ooh, oh, it has a little mini pop filter. That's kind of cute. But okay, moving on to the microphone itself. Oh, it just kind of comes out in all in one unit. That's a little interesting. Um, and there's nothing else in the box. All right, so that's interesting. So it has the stand that is attached. Ooh, that does not sound that great. Uh, it could be worse though. Um, and this just goes up like that, okay. This windscreen, though, got pretty mangled up in the packaging. I mean, it's not a big deal, but still, I'll just put that over the microphone like so. But that's just so weird. What company ships a microphone all, like, set up? I mean, I'm not really complaining, but it's, it's interesting nonetheless. And then we can put the pop filter on. And yeah, why, why is the pop filter the one thing that's not screwed in. I'm sure they could have figured out how to do that. All right, we got our pop filter in. But anyway, let's actually take a look at this microphone. So I'm just going to pull it out of the shock mount that it's in. And it's a interesting uh, sized microphone. It's almost like you, you can hold it in your hand, but it's not really made for that. There's absolutely no buttons or any sort of controls on this microphone, which is a little bit unfortunate. Some of my microphones, like the iRig uh, mics, uh, they have uh, actual gain controls on it. This does not. Um, but the wire, it does. It is not removable by any means, and it's just a standard USB Type A. So no USB Type C for a tablet or a lot of modern computers. Although I guess I can't say anything too bad about that because. Uh, USB type A is still vastly popular. In terms of the length of the cord, I mean, this is roughly what? Five or five or six feet maybe? Um, I don't know how long your arm distance is. Is that how tall you are? I don't know. But uh, let's just put this right back into the hot shoe mount and let's see how this microphone actually sounds. I do have to say, I'm quite impressed that they do have a pop filter. I have no idea how good it's gonna be, but I'm sure it's as good as any, you know, $15 uh, pop filter on Amazon. It's just a little, a little small. So I'm just grabbing my MacBook here, but I'm actually curious what they say this microphone is compatible with. I see Mac and I see Windows. I'm wondering if Linux is supported. They don't seem to have it here. We'll have to test that out. But uh, all right, let's jump over to the Mac after I get a dongle. A few moments later. So I just plugged in the microphone. I just noticed there's no indicator light that indicates that I plugged it in. That's actually annoying, but it's okay. I'm just being picky at this point. All right, so at this point, let's do an audio test. So you've been listening to the Audio-Technica A2 2020 for the majority of this video, but what about the toner? So I'm putting the toner right next to the microphone or the Audio-Technica, and now you're listening to it. We're roughly about the same distance away. Um, I'm recording this with Final Cut at the moment, and the gain is at 13. Um, so it obviously could be lower, it could be higher. Uh, let's actually try getting a lot closer to this microphone with the pop filter. All right, so ignore that I'm all hunched over at this moment. So I have both these microphones a lot closer. I don't have a pop filter on the Audio-Technica. Um, but in terms of the toner, uh, you know, I lowered the gain now to about 10. You should be really being able to focus more on my voice and less of the acoustics of this room. I don't know if you've noticed, but today there's been a lot of rain outside, cars driving by. Um, this is not a 
well-treated room in terms of sound isolation, but how is this microphone doing? Now, besides just comparing this toner to, say, the Audio-Technica, um, which is actually plugged into another audio mixer, how does the microphone sound compared to just my MacBook uh, microphone? Well, let's switch to that. I am now on the MacBook microphone, and I'm sure it sounds a lot more echoey, but let's listen back to all this. I gotta say, guys, I'm pretty happy with how this microphone sounds. So I did actually pull up the Amazon page and it's only 40 bucks. Um, and, and for $40, this microphone actually has a decent amount to offer. Um, I actually just tested this as well, but this does work with Linux, Windows, and Mac, um, which is pretty awesome. So with that said, who should actually get this microphone from, you know, what I just uh, messed around with and whatnot. And I gotta say, I, I'm, I'm actually blown away with the quality of this microphone. I'm not hearing any uh, frequency problems. This microphone does not have a high noise floor compared to other cheap microphones. So the sound quality is on point for this price point. Um, build quality of the microphone, actually, I mean, it's not the greatest. This is all made out of plastic, but you know, it seems fine. I don't think it's breaking anytime soon. Um, if you want to know anything, I wish it did differently. I, I wish it had a removable wire um, in case this wire broke at some point. I also wish it had an indicator light and a gain control, like a physical gain control. But you know, with software these days, it's pretty easy to do that. So that's really not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, if you're needing a microphone for podcasting, for your videos, for uh, a Zoom conference call, this the quality of this is great. Obviously, there's still room to improve when you spend more and more money, but I, I really can't complain about this. So I'm quite happy. Check this product out in the link below. I don't think you'll be uh, disappointed if you need to get a new microphone for streaming, for video conferencing, or for podcasting. So guys, that's the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the products, anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'm Eric, and I'll catch you in the next one.